Plant new. And with that being said, I'm glad that we own the, 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 this conversation right here about instilling an artificial intelligence and getting rid of the old so we can you see, make room for the new. This, this, this right here, I, I, I bring this up for one apparent reason. And this is basically going with the lesson. This is a third grade flash card box, as we can see. From silver now, silver learning. Third grade. We see third grade on We're going to pull out one of these vocabulary flash cards that they have inside of the third grade, the, the third grade Sylvan mm. Learning. You see, we, we can see that family. So we, you know what I'm saying? We always want to bring hard evidence. So you, we won't, you know, you won't feel like we're trying to trick you or bring, you know, make something up. Now this is universal. And within this flash card box, third grade now, is a word that I know for sure they didn't teach me when I was in the third grade. Nigga. And see now the good brother Barlene is saying negative for him also. See. Now I've already went and asked my children about this and they said no. You see, the, those you know, my children that's of course been through these independent school district chambers. Nationality is the word, family. And the reason why we're bringing this up, watch, watch this. Nationality, the definition of the word, keep in mind now this third grade they saying, third grade education. Why is it important? The state of belonging to a country or nation. Nationality, and it's a noun. A group of people who have a common beginning, tradition, or language. We got that? Now on the on the on the flip side of it, it gives us a, a, a you know you know how they put the word in context for it. Allison had a flag printed on her T-shirt to show her to show her pride in her nationality. Mm. You see how important this is, family. This third grade. Now, Allison had a flag printed on her T-shirt to show her pride in her nationality. So what 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 flag did you we got? We, I'm talking about you know the melanoids, the so-called black people, the the, the so-called Negro, African American. Y'all know these different corporate labels. You see, keep this in mind. Listen to the language. Corporate labels. This is important because that's how we put all of this in context nationality the state of belonging to a country or nation a group of people who have a common beginning a common beginning we got that family a common beginning tradition or language that's that's it's deep but it's really not that deep once you start mm. to think about it once you start to think about, uh, let me just say, uh, the Germans. Okay. Where they from? Germany. The Germans got their own flags. That's right. Okay. What about the Italians? They're from Italy. Yeah. It, Italy got their own flag. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese, the Irish, the Japanese, and then we could even go to some of our. Uh, Skin folk, as far as Nigerians, yes, the, the, the Kenyans, the motherland, yes, yep, they have their nationality intact, and even on that landmass, the what, what we call the motherland, Al Kibalan, there are over fifty plus different nationalities, meaning just like the brother saying, they, they on the African plate, but they're gonna represent different flags, different nations, different languages, different traditions. You see how important this is, you man? Call a, you call a Nigerian an African. I am a Nigerian. Gonna get right on you. Get on your head. Gonna, gonna, gonna clarify for what the rep. nationality is. But us, we're over here. We're stuck. Because again, it says 
a group of people who have a common beginning. This third grade, a common beginning. Now, we, it takes common sense to know that we don't have a common beginning with the Caucasians. I think that's obvious, ain't it, family? So how are we following up under this black and white politi political construct, you see, of a what? <laughs> that ain't no, that's not a nationality. United States is the flag that they made us uh, uh, pledge allegiance. Pledge our allegiance to the the United States flag, which does not represent no nationality at all. You see, only a corporation, only a business is running business. You see, and 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 that's not to say that we don't have a place within that business. Fast, but. What needs to be said is we have to take the proper position within this business, though, because we've been taking the position as employees only. And we all know that as an employee, you don't go to the CEO of your company and tell them nothing about how you're going to change. You, hey, we don't we only have 15 minute breaks. You, you're we're, you, you're going to change this from 15 minutes to 45 minutes. We're going to have 45 minute breaks. Shh. Two a day, and then we're gonna have a paid lunch. You don't, the employee don't you get the goal. You probably do never that. even met the CEO at your workplace. You see? Let's think about this. You see? And we have to know what we're talking about here. What we're saying is this corporation is running like a business, and the CEO is who you call him the, pr the president. Mm -hmm. And like the good brother said, I know for a fact that a lot of my people complaining about this guy that ain't even never met him, just like you just said. Ain't never met him and never will. Never will. And get as close as him as Twitter will let you. That's about it. And you, a lot of you, you say, I love y'all. I love my family. I do. But you, 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 I'm here to tell you, you see, I'm, I'm bold enough. It might sound arrogant, but oh well, whatever. I'm bold enough to tell you the truth that you're wasting time and energy when you're when you're trying to uh, feel some type of way about talking down on the CEO of this corporation. Because again, it's no different from on your gig. You you not you, the employee does not go make rules with with the with the with the CEO. You don't you don't get to go knock on the CEO door and just sit down and complain and say I, I I'm getting a raise. I'm 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 not I'm not working for with with such and such no more. You are gonna take me off this shift and put me on that shift? That we just we just trying to get you to see, family, that as it relates to nationality, you see, within this corporation, you an you are an employee. That's what you are, and you're only an employee only if you don't take hold of your life as it relates to knowledge of self and free yourself and unplug, you see, from that three-fifths of a frequency that got you believing a lot of stuff, see? That's what we're going into, renunciation, see? We, you, you got to eliminate a lot of the old way of thinking, you see? So the holistic frequency can come in and take over. But as long as you still believing that this president slash CEO some kind of way holds your success in his or her hand as it relates to he can pass a law and save you or he can he can we can what is it reparations uh, we can I can get my 40 acres and a mule if he would okay the law that says that I can get my 40 acres and a mule you see that's emotion that's what we we here to teach against. That's how we say it. That's why we bring hard evidence. This that's is not real, emotion. That's real. That's a defeatist mindset, man. That's a defeated mindset, which going back into the, the the concept of fear. You sound like you scary. You know what I mean? To to give up all your power and say that man, the only way I can succeed is if the white if the white folks they won't. You see. Now, of course, we know that there is a systematic racism concept here that, that, that is going on. But the point of it all is art of war. Get your, get your mind right. You see? That's the whole key. Art of war. 
Get your mind right so you can battle like Mama Harry. Mm -hmm. So you can battle like the great Nate, uh, Nat Turner. You know what I mean? Preacher man. He was a preacher man. That, that went in and, and, and cracked the codes and said, oh, okay, this is what this is. Using the Bible. Using the Bible. This is what this is. This is allegory. Oh, we're using these characters to teach principle. Mm -hmm. 